Hi, I'm Jason Dubendorfer, IQS specialist on the marketing team. Today we're going to talk about SQS software. Let's get started. And in this episode, we're going to add a scanner. So we all know that every single build has to have a unique identifier. And most of our customers, about 99.8% of them, will have a barcode that will be a unique identifier for the build that's going to take place. So the steps in order to get a barcode configured on your configuration tool is we're going to come over here to hardware. We're going to right click, come down that list to add scanner. We're going to go to RS. 232 device click standard that's now going to give us this tab which lets us enter in the information about our scanner so we can change the name from rs232 device to barcode scanner and again the label of the status light which is what will show up on the right side with the icons um, in the operator guidance screen. We'll just call it scanner here. Remembering that there's only a seven character window there that we're allowed to add. So then we go to the communication. You have to set the port in which your scanner is attached to. How do you do that, you ask? Well, I'm going to show you. So what you want to do is you're going to go to your C drive Open up the SQS one uh, folder, go to tools and add-ons, open up HTERM, and then HTERM EXE. That will open up this window here. And what you'll see is my scanner is plugged in and it's registering on COM port 3. It can be COM port 1, which is what my Surface Pro is, but my PC is COM port 3. Here you can also set the baud rate and everything else if you want to do a test scan. But so this is where you figure out the COM port. So you can close this, close this. Now set this to COM 3. Keep the baud rate at 9600, the bit size. Everything else remains the same. Click apply, and that is how we add a scanner and making sure that we know what COM port that we're on.